Let's get into a quick overreaction, way too soon to tell prediction for the 2023 to 2024 NBA season. Again, this is post draft. And so like all the trades that have been made, I think there could be some extra last seconds. Like, oh, look at that. Let's start on the East um, out of the Atlantic division. I think Boston's going to take it out of central division. It's the Bucks. Then out of the South, um, there I'm going to Atlanta won it last year, but I think just with the momentum of rolling off of the NBA Finals loss, I think Miami could win the division this year, and so I'm going to take the Heat again. This is like mock draft number one uh, for way too early predictions. The number one seed I would have to say goes to the Bucks again. Number two, the Celtics. I do think Porzingis will be a additional key piece to the Celtics being successful but also like who could replace them at the two three spot I think is going to be the heat I think the heat are going to have a better regular season than they did last year sneaking in as the eighth seed four I'm going to say goes to the 76ers I do think James Harden is going to stay same with Joel Embiid you know with the new coach and they're probably going to have a few hot stretches there during the season number five the Cavaliers number six the Knicks number seven Toronto I I don't know why, I just feel like if Van Vliet stays in Siakam, I think they could probably get one more piece in there by the trade deadline and try to go on a little bit of a run, sneak the seventh seed. Number eight, uh, I said Brooklyn Nets. I think Mikael Bridges, if healthy, um, Nets could find a way to have a mediocre, decent season and get the eighth seed. And then for the playing tournaments, number nine and 10, I had the Bulls at nine. And then the Hawks at 10, like, I don't know who else, like, out of the Pacers, the Wizards, you know, the Hornets, Orlando. Like, I didn't see any other teams that would make that huge jump to be like, oh, this is the fourth seed. This is the fifth seed. Like, I had a feeling like the playoffs would be a little bit the same. For the Western Conference, um, Northwest, I think it runs through Denver, honestly. Like, there's no other way. Like, they're coming off the chip. Pacific, I am going to take, I think, Sacramento is going to take a little bit of a back seat and I'm going to have Golden State having a bounce back season. And then the Southwest, um, I think with a full off season of Kyrie and Luka together and potentially if they get LeBron without purposely tanking and purposely trying to miss out of the plane, I think the Mavs are going to come back. I think Luka Doncic is going to have an early, I'd put his early candidacy for you know, an MVP type season to help his team. I had to like do this one two, three times because the West is just so tight. The Nuggets will be up there, but then for from like second on down, the difference could be three games, four games max. You see, I think it's gonna be a tight race in the West. So this is who I have from two on down. Um, <laughs> it sounds crazy giving them way too much love, but I don't know if Warriors bounce back there too. If Smart helps contribute, the Grizzlies are three. Suns, I think, you know, with their new additions and letting go of CP3, they could potentially be the four, like the middle of the road. Kings take a little bit of a back seat, uh, but still have a solid season um, where they're the five seed. Six seed, I don't know who the Lakers are gonna get this off season to bring them from like a seventh, six seed to a 2-3 seed. Like, like, I don't know who that key piece is. Uh, number seven would be the Clippers, and I would have the Clippers so much higher, but it's like, when's Paul George gonna come back, and when's Kawhi gonna come back? Russ can't just carry them to a two seed all alone. Like, that, it's not gonna happen. And then at the eighth seed, the Mavericks. Um, I think they're gonna win a lot of good games in their division, that is, which is why they win their division title. But then the teams, when they go play the East or just outside of division teams, like playing the Nuggets or the Kings or the Spurs, or like I think they're going to lose a lot of stupid games. For nine, I have Nola. Like they got some dudes. Like they have a pretty okay roster. Zion, if Zion is healthy. And then number 10, Wemby and the Spurs. Like I do think that Greg Popovich can just get them going and they can find a way into the playing tournament. And then title odds, um, this is hot off the press. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six teams that I think can honestly win the title. And this is in no particular order. I said the Nuggets, the Warriors, the Suns, the Bucks, the Heat, and the Celtics. Denver is easily the title favorites to go back to back. I really think they could. I would say way too soon pick for 
Western Conference Finals. Nuggets, Warriors. Nuggets move on to the NBA Finals. Eastern Conference Final. Heat, Heat Bucks. Bucks move to the NBA Finals. And that of Nuggets, Bucks, Nuggets. Like that is a cold, like I haven't premeditated this. Like that is a cold going straight from the jump because I don't think the Celtics are going to get far getting rid of that key piece and smart with the defense. And I don't, uh, I don't think Phoenix is good enough. I think Phoenix will run into the Warriors in the semis and then the Nuggets will play like the Clippers or something in the semis or the Lakers again in the semis. And I just don't see them beating the Nuggets. If, if that makes sense. Anyways, catch y'all in the next video. Peace.